What's up, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to our channel. My name is Alicia. It's your Joy Tim. <laughs> and Asa. But hey, y'all. Good evening. Um, It's really late. Well, it's not really late, but it's... 6.42. It's late enough. Yeah, it's pretty late. But we just wanted to come on here and share with you guys our new, I guess, night routine of having a toddler and a newborn. And so, yeah, we're about to get... Ready for bed for the night for the little ones and even for us because we go to bed too as if we can. But yeah, so let's get this routine going because we tired, y'all. We tired. Alrighty. So usually we start out the night with um getting Asa. Well, we do baths every other night still because he's had sensitive skin for a while. I think his skin is better now. It's definitely, it's better. definitely better now, but we still just do baths every other night just to not dry him out. Now, unless he just been like real, real stanky. stanky, sweaty. Because he started school where he has recess and stuff. Um, which y'all see, y'all seen um, when I've gone to his school. And so if he's like real stanky and dirty, then we just, um, you know, give him a bath whenever he's real stanky and stuff. But for the most part, we give him every other time. Now, key things to getting ready in the evening that you want to be able to pay attention to. If your room is anything like ours, it is inclusive of toys to keep your toddler or child, uh, you know, just to keep him entertained. The issue with that is that at the end of the day, after a long day, let me get a little closer. Okay, okay, sorry. Let me get a little closer. The issue with that is that at the end of the day, his toys are still all over the floor. And therefore, you might stop to step on them like I just did. I don't know if you saw me in the corner. I almost died because I stepped on a Paw Patrol toy. So one of the key things you want to do with getting your uh, getting yourself just ready at the end of the night is clean up the toys. It's going to help you in the long run. I know it feels like you just want to get on the bed, but I promise you when you are frustrated and he's jumping on the bed and he don't want to go to sleep, you stepping on the Paw Patrol is probably the make or break of you continuing to be a loving parent or you being an abusive parent. So I just wanted to say that. Okay, last time. Then we got to get in the bath. Okay, let's get in the bath. Okay. Alright, y'all. So we're gonna head to the bathroom. Well, of course I'm gonna take this off. Hey, so did you pee pee yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think he did. Yeah, I think some of his pee got out. <sighs> Anyways, so I'm gonna undress him and then we're gonna head to the bath. One thing I did forget to um mention. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. One thing I did forget to mention is like usually when I'm undressing Asa or when Tim is undressing Asa, the other person is getting the bath ready. So that's definitely a tip. Try to work together, you know, to do the things. Um, Tim gets Asa's bath ready and then I undress him. So that way we can get him straight to the water when it's done. Now, you know, for our single parents out there, if you don't got nobody else, just turn on a quick show. Just something normally we might have some blaze going on, mm -hmm. some blaze in the mustard machine, some Miss Rachel, something educational at night, you know. Mm -hmm. Or just we something or, to keep or, their attention. Or we close the door and let him just kind of walk around and roam around, play with his toys that he has in our room. Again, the toys. <laughs> yeah. Um, and let him play with toys in his room and then get his bath ready and stuff. That's if it's like one of us by ourselves, you know. Um, we like kind of let him play while we're trying to get his bath together and that kind of thing. And then, you know, give him a bath. All right, y'all. So we're in this... Um, this is kind of different now because this is something that we're just starting, but we're in the phase of potty training. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we're in the phase of potty training. So we're letting him sit on the toilet before we actually put him in the water. Sit down so you can, um, so you can pee pee. Yeah. Can you sit up? Can I confide in y'all for a second? Let me give him. Ah, ah, sit down. Y'all, don't, don't, I'm not trying to be weird. I feel like maybe the parents will understand. Yeah. I'm so tired of seeing other people's problems part. That's not my wife. <laughs> it's like every day. It's just wiping something, cleaning something, checking something, putting cream on something. And that ain't my wife. That ain't even me. I'm just tired of it. I'm sorry. I just need a second. Hey y'all, so while Alicia is uh, still getting the bath ready for Asa, uh, Daya started crying. So this is the perfect time for me to just talk about what we do for her. So 
right now the nightly routine for her um it sort of kind of varies it really just depends on the day um so like a day like today for instance it's a sunday and um we have spent most of the day away from home and so coming home now is about seven o'clock um really we would just kind of you know see where she's at if she had been asleep um on the way home we would probably see when she gets home if she needs to be changed um if she needs some milk um she needs some milk um but yeah just kind of see what she's doing kind of see where she's at um maybe try to keep her up because you know we are trying to slowly but surely get her on a sleep schedule so depending on how much she's been up today maybe keep her up a little bit just so she can sleep through the night um so yeah it just is with her because she's still just like a one month plus old um it's not a hardcore routine yet um most of the time from there it would go to if i don't get you to show you today um it would go from you know changing her feeding her and then if we're getting ready to go to bed, we would just kind of try to put her to sleep then. Um, most times nowadays, especially if I have to go to work the next day, um, try to go to bed around maybe around like nine, 10 when we feeling, when we feeling real good. Um, but mostly nine, cause she'll kind of at least lay kind of quietly for that and then be back up at 12. And so it's, it's just kind of give or take. It'll, it probably will be different um, with different kids. So definitely don't take anything in this video and say this is what it's supposed to be. This is just what we do. Ready to get changed? Yeah? You awake? Let's change your booty. Y'all, so we need to get Asa. I don't know if y'all go watch um, my daily routine video with Asa when he was like, I think like six or seven months. Yeah. This is the same bathtub that I used then. We need to get him a new bathtub because he is scratched up in his thing. But um, we'll probably use this for uh, Dave, of course. But he has, like we have David in our big tub, but it's just like really slippery and stuff like that. And he likes to stand up. Or he did the last couple of times we put him in it. He likes to stand up, so I'm afraid to put him in there. We have to find something that he can, um, you know, stand up on or that we can maybe put in the bathtub to like keep him safe. So if y'all know anything, comment down below, let us know. So we can start getting him in the big tub again um, and that kind of thing. You're so cute. A happy face. A happy face? Let me see a happy face. Let me see a mad face. You don't got a mad face? Yeah. Let me see a mad face. <laughs> Let me see a sad face. <laughs> you just want to do a happy face? Yeah. Good. Just look really big. Um, now for Asa, we um we actually switched to Shea Moisture. Uh, I don't think we have the bottle still here. I think we got thrown away. No, we got the bottle. Just yeah, we're, oh, let me get it. Now we use this for um, Asa, the Shea Moisture Baby Wash Shampoo. Um, not sponsored, but I'm just showing y'all what we use. Um, it's for delicate skin and hair, and it's 100% virgin coconut oil. That's what we use, but we don't have any at the moment. So my my um my boss, she gave us this for a day, but we don't know what, you know, stuff might work with her skin or not. So we just like to use what we already know, which was the Johnson & Johnson newborn. Um, oh, this right here. This right here. The Johnson's, oh, not Johnson & Johnson. This is just, oh, it is Johnson & Johnson, yeah. So the Johnson's um, newborn wash and shampoo. This is what we use with Asa because he had sensitive skin, so we just went back to this for her, just because we knew it, um, you know, worked, or we figured it would work, um, since it did really good with him. She doesn't have as sensitive skin, but sometimes we do see things come up. Um, it's, it looks like if we clean her skin, it kind of goes away, and that kind of thing. 
Um, I think those were before. I think they were on her body before I, I washed her. But um, we did see a little bit of stuff come up. We don't know if it was before or after we washed her. So we might have to do it again, of course, to just see. But my boss gave us this Honest Shampoo and Body Wash. Um, it, it says citrus and vanilla extracts and coconut oil. So coconut oil seems to be a, like a big one that we use for um, his skin. And we'll probably try it on her too. But um, we would just rather not try something we have never tried on her um so also, the shea moisture does smell nice. <laughs> yeah shea moisture does smell nice um this honest smells really good too it's vanilla so huh you don't like this oh i honestly don't remember how i smell about to see right now I smell, of, I smell the limit next time yeah like citrus i don't yeah whatever and i don't smell nothing yeah so let's see so i guess at least compared to the shea moisture uh -huh. yeah sorry guys i'm sorry Oh yeah, I don't like this smell. I like this smell, but like you said, I do smell the citrus that I don't really care for. The was stronger than I probably like. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, that's what I like. Why are you sad? Let me see a sad face. <laughs> you got a sad. What are you sad about? You getting it in your eye? Hold on. Is this the towel that we just used on the day of sex? If, if it's wet. You need another one? Um, yeah, because he has soap in his eye. I know what another one is. But... Stop, but you're going to get soap in your eye. We're about to get out and then head in here to Daddy and Daya. Daddy and Dede. And we're going to go in here and get him dressed. And yeah, finish out our night. All right, guys. So now she is all fed and uh, diaper changed. She burped really good. And so now just kind of let her sit up until it's time for bed. Yes, Papa. Hey, so that does not go in your mouth. 
Daddy, Yes, Papa. No, Papa. No, Papa. So, um, Daya has been sick. She got a cold. Um, so she's had a cold for about two weeks now. And, um, so we have to put saline drops in her nose and kind of like suck it with the, um, the like green bulb thing that they give you like at the hospital. And so Tim's about to drop some drops in her nose. And, and to, yesterday and today we've been seeing some like mucus come in her eyes. So we called her pediatrician to see what we should do and everything. Um, they said to bring her in tomorrow. So I'll probably do that. Yes, Papa. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'll probably I might um take her tomorrow. We're just gonna see how her eye does. It really depends on how her eye does in the morning and tonight. She told us to put a warm compress on it and clean it and then put a cold press cold compress on it to like stop it from leaking and everything like that. So that's what we've been doing. And then we've been doing a lot of saline drops and sucking her nose. Um so that's what he's doing now. He's doing saline drops. She don't really like how it feels, so she might start crying. <laughs> Yes, it's okay. I'm a present father. It's all right. <laughs> I'm not going to leave you to get milk. It's okay. Why aren't you putting your pencil? What's wrong? No. It's okay. But yeah, it's okay. I know. It's okay. You don't want this thing. You want boobies? Me too. Oh my her mom, her mother's boobies. Nobody else's. Don't just make that clear. I don't need nobody to comment. He said he want boobies. <laughs> I want the two on there, right there. And that's how we got in this situation already. Yup. Did and did. Proud of it. No. Proud of it. No. Gonna do it again. Just kidding. No. <laughs> We're gonna wait a long, 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 long. Six long, weeks coming long, up soon. Long, 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 long time. Six weeks postnatal coming up soon. It's tomorrow. Six weeks is tomorrow. You okay? Alrighty, Ace is all dressed. You got your Spider Man on. Oh, we gotta put his socks on. Let's put your socks on, but give me that. Let's put your other sock on. Asa has a really hard time with getting his fingers nails clipped, or well, mostly his toenails. Sorry, y'all, that we moving so much, but um, Asa has a hard time getting his toenails clipped, so that's what we was doing in this last little 10 minutes. So yeah, Daya, she is dressed for the most part. We're just going to swaddle her for bed. Asa is done for tonight. Um, he's probably just gonna watch TV for about 10, 15 more minutes. Um, and then off to bed for Asa too. Our night routine is pretty simple. It's pretty good. Like we can get it done. It just, when we're so tired already, it just seems like it just drags on. Um, and then if we don't get home at a good time, like if it's late today, we got home around six o'clock, which was wonderful. Maybe like six thirty, um, which was wonderful because, you know, it was early enough to give him a bath let him rest for a second, give him a little snack. Um, Cause we gave him some pouches when we got home. Um, so he got a little snack, everything like that. And now we can just chill and let him watch TV and go to bed. But yeah, guys, so that's pretty much our nightly routine. 
Um, and then of course we get ourselves together. <laughs> Once we put them to bed, we, you know, take our own showers or sit down, do work. I think Tim has a little bit of work to do tonight. Um, I'm gonna put it on, just give me one second. Um, and then um, we go to bed ourselves, you know, or whatever day has us doing, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Um, usually Tim starts out in the beginning of the night, um, between like nine, from like eight or nine to about one. And then I'll have her from one to about five or six. And then we're all kind of getting up and just, you know, helping where we can and that kind of thing. But cause that's when they go to school or get ready for school and work. So yeah, that's pretty much our day. Wow. Day. <laughs> yeah. So that is all for this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed our oh. night routine. <laughs> Stink. <Yeah. laughs> but yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And, and always remember, we love you. God loves you. You're not dead. What are you doing back there? I just realized that you was back there dead. Can you end the video with me, please? <laughs> <laughs> But all right, guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, we love you. God loves you. You are loved. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>